In order to get the best possible results out of your star tracker, you always need to do a polar alignment each night. And the more accurate your polar alignment is, the longer you'll be able to shoot without star trails. In this video, we're gonna break down the full polar alignment process for those of you shooting in the Northern Hemisphere. And we're gonna try and get through as much as we can. And in the following videos, we'll break this down even further and really tie it all together. But the main concept for a polar alignment is simply that we wanna put the star tracker facing towards either the North or the South Pole, depending on our hemisphere. Because that's ultimately where all the stars tend to rotate around is that North Pole. I mean, ultimately it's the Earth rotating, but as far as we're concerned, the stars are moving overhead. So once we find the North Pole and we angle our star tracker up to that exact same spot, we can attach our camera, and now the camera mount's gonna move just like the stars are moving, and that's what ultimately gives us our sharp stars. And what I wanna show you right now is this Star Trails video, and what you're seeing is what I've just described, where we have the North Pole in the very center of the frame, and that's our center of rotation. All the stars are moving around that central point. And ultimately, it's always our goal to position our star tracker exactly to that precise point. Now, to do that, we have a few tools here to help us out. First, we have the polar scope that's built into the Star Adventure. That's just gonna help us zoom in and find the North Star. We'll get to that more in a minute. We also have the latitude base, which is gonna help angle us up at the correct angle for the North Pole. With all that in mind, there's really just three simple steps you have to follow. And to be honest, when I get on location, I can usually do my polar alignment in about three minutes or less. So it's very simple once you understand the basics. Now, I wanna go through the steps one by one, and then we'll bring it all together. Step one is to find north, because we're trying to find the North Pole. So to find north, you can do this a variety of ways, but for me, the easiest is always to find the Big Dipper. The Big Dipper is probably the most recognizable constellation, and it's always in the northern portion of the sky. So that's kind of a good uh, landmark if you're out in, at night and you're looking for some stars. Just look around until you see the Big Dipper, and now you know you're facing north. Once you've found the Big Dipper, we can use that to identify the North Star, which is more or less right by the North Pole. So what I like to do is to draw a straight line out from the corner star of the Big Dipper, and it'll take me directly to the North Star in most cases. Once I've found the North Star itself, also known as Polaris, I can reposition my tripod so I'm facing as close to that point as possible. That's step one. Again, just find North and the North Star. You can also use an application to do this as well. Let's say you want to use an app, uh, Stellarium. This is a fantastic application for learning the night sky, and it even has a function where you can turn your phone on, and once your phone has been enabled, you can point the phone around in any direction and see which stars you're looking at and also what direction. So this can help you very quickly find north as well as the north star if you're a little bit confused. There's also another great application out there called Star Walk 2. And frankly, I'd recommend this one more for beginners because it will very clearly show you all the star names and even the constellations. And this is one of my favorite ways to learn the night sky if I'm out and I'm still learning the star names. Definitely recommend Star Walk 2. And ultimately, both of these apps, Stellarium and Star Walk 2, will do the same thing. You can click a button, you can move your phone around in real time, and see which direction you're facing. However you want to do this process, whether you're using the Big Dipper to help you find the North Star, or if you're using an app, once you've repositioned your tripod so you're facing north, you've just finished step one. Step two is to dial in the correct latitude here on our base. And for that, we're going to use a free app called the SAM Console app. The same console app was actually built for the little brother here of the adventure, that's the Star Adventure Mini. And with that star tracker, it's completely controlled by a smartphone, so it's kind of cool, but we can use that same app here on the adventure. Uh, just as a side note, you can't actually control the adventure with it, but it still, has, it still has some nifty features for us. So once you've downloaded and installed the Star Adventure Mini console, also known as the SAM console app, we want to go down to the Polar Clock Utility. And here we can see the polar scope reticle that's actually built into our Star Adventure. So that's going to be a nifty thing we're going to look at later on. But all I care about right now is the location in the upper right hand corner. If you turn it on to use your location sensor, it should automatically tell you your latitude and longitude. In this case, I'm at about 33 degrees north. Once I know that number, I can just dial that in here on the base very easily. So I'll loosen my screw here and just turn this until I'm as close as possible to 33. And then I'll tighten everything down. At this point, my star adventure should be angled up to the same spot as that North Pole or that rotation uh, axis. That's step two. Step three is very simple. All we have to do is just double check the bubble level on our base here and make sure it's dead center. If our bubble level is a little bit off, we'll adjust our tripod legs until we get it right in the middle. And then I like to just push down on the tripod and make sure none of the twist locks come loose so we don't sink into the ground a little bit. And that's all you have to do for a rough polar alignment. Three simple steps, find North, dial in your latitude, 
and make sure your tripod is flat and level. And really, that's all I do when I get on location if I'm using a wide angle lens. And I've been able to shoot up to four minute long exposures at 14 millimeters doing this process. If you want to get a little bit more precise though, or if you're using a telephoto lens, you're going to need to use the polar scope built into the adventure. So why don't we take off the caps and take a look at that next. What I want you to do now is come around the back of your adventure and then look through the polar scope and we should see our reticle inside there. The first thing we need to do is make it so we have it lined up properly with uh, zero at the top and six at the bottom. So I'm going to loosen the clutch here on the front of my adventure. Then I can rotate this front piece around until my polar scope is aligned properly. Again, zero at the top, six at the bottom. And then I want to tighten my clutch back down. That's the first part of our precise polar alignment is just to get everything lined up properly. Next, we can go back to the SAM console app and look at our polar clock utility. That's really going to come in handy for us. So I'll go back. And what you want to look for right now in the polar clock utility is a little gray dot somewhere on the edge of that reticle. That's where we need to position Polaris. And there's a really cool feature that I want to explain what's going on here. So you know how we have the reticle here and it's got your crosshairs in dead center? What we're actually trying to do is put the north pole directly in the center of those crosshairs, not the north star. Because ultimately, remember, everything's rotating around that north pole. So that's always our goal is to get that dead centered. But since the North Star isn't directly in the North Pole, we're going to offset it a little bit. We just need to know where to offset it. And thankfully, they built the reticle, so it's within that range. So all we have to do at this point is find that gray dot and then come back around on our polar scope and look through there. We should be able to see the North Star somewhere inside of our polar scope reticle. Once we do, we're going to use our altitude and our azimuth adjustment knobs to either move the North Star left or right, up or down inside the polar scope until it matches what we just saw in the app. Now, this is really where most people have the most problems. You know, they look through here, either A, they don't see any stars at all, or B, when they look through there, they see multiple stars and they're not sure which one is the North Star. So I wanna break down some different ways that can really help you out at this stage. The best way, if you're having trouble at this point, is to always do your polar alignment during twilight if possible, because again, only the brightest stars will be visible, and that includes the Big Dipper as well as the North Star. Therefore, when you look through the polar scope during twilight, it should only show you the North Star if you've got it angled correctly, uh, including your latitude, and you just made sure you're facing north as close as possible. That would be my biggest recommendation. If you don't see any stars at all, it's possible either your polar scope isn't focused properly or you're just not angled to the right location. So what I'd recommend for that is just to crouch down here behind the adventure and make sure you can see the North Star somewhere over the top of the adventure. Provided you can see Polaris over the top, you should be more or less aligned and you should be able to see it through the polar scope. Anyway, once you've found the North Star somewhere in the polar scope, again, we're going to use our altitude and azimuth adjustment knobs to get it precisely positioned as we saw in the SAM console app. And this is something I'd even try, you know, let's say you don't see the North Star in there. Maybe it's just slightly out of the frame. So we can use our azimuth adjustment knobs and move our entire thing left or right very slightly, or use our uh, altitude adjustment knob to maybe move everything up or down slightly inside the polar scope. And once you do that, you might see the North Star suddenly drift into the frame. And then from there, you can do your proper polar alignment. Now, I just want to recap the basics of our azimuth and altitude adjustments. So our azimuth adjustments on the front here, these are the two screws. We're going to turn them both at the same direction at the same time. And that's either going to move the North Star left or right inside of our polar scope. This won't go very far though. You've got a limited degree of rotation, so you can't rotate the entire base around. Uh, so you want to make sure you're as close as possible. And that's our azimuth adjustment, again, left and right. Our altitude, the big knob here on the back, that's going to move ultimately the entire star tracker up or down, but it will move the North Star inside of our polar scope up and down as well. Once you've gotten the North Star as close as possible to that same spot that we saw in the SAM console app, we've just done our precise polar alignment, and we should now be facing as close as possible to the North Pole. Once we've done that, we want to make sure we don't touch anything from this point on. We don't want to knock the tripod over a little bit. We don't want to accidentally loosen the base or anything else because if we went through all that work to do a precise polar alignment and we move anything, it's going to completely throw it all off. So once we've done all that, we can rotate our uh, clutch and make sure we're facing up and down again. Then we're going to attach our camera and our ball head. And now we can start shooting. One last thing I want to mention before I forget is the Polar Finder Illuminator. This is a little piece that should have come with your Star Adventure. And the way this works is that once you install the watch battery, you can just pop this right into the front of your 
polar scope hole. And now this is gonna illuminate the reticle inside of your polar scope. So if you're shooting in the middle of the night and you can't see the reticle at all, you can just put this on here, crank up the brightness a little bit, and now you'll have a red light that will help you do your polar alignment process. Hopefully now a polar alignment process makes a lot more sense. Ultimately, all we're trying to do is angle the star adventure and point it up exactly to the North Pole, which is the center of rotation. That way, when our uh, camera mount rotates, it's rotating in the same way as the North Pole and ultimately removing that star motion. If you're still a little bit overwhelmed by the polar alignment process, you can always watch the following videos where we continue to break this down step by step. And I think by the end of the little mini series here on your polar scope alignment, you should have much more confidence the next time you head out in the field. And I think with a little bit of practice, you'll be able to start doing this yourself within a few minutes and overall start capturing a lot better images at night.